Art that always makes me cry. Um, <laughs> Dave Chappelle. <laughs> His story and like the last couple of like specials that he's done of sort of like opening up and saying like where he was at and realizing this like um, this feeling of like this minstrel show that he had become a part of um, and then wanting to take that back like that gets me because you always have to wonder yourself as an artist of color you're like what is my relationship to the fact that we are others. Now, how do we do that in a healthful way that doesn't, at the end of the day, continue the sort of the cycle? Music, music has like a really smooth, sneaky way of just like getting all up into your feelings. You didn't even see it coming, and you're just like, no, like, okay, I think I'm gonna make it through the day, but probably not because I don't know. Music just, I don't know. It so touches me. Not to make everything about Beyonce, but I remember like listening to Resentment on repeat and just crying for no reason. And I was like, I'm an adult now. I cry for no reason. And I was like 15. <laughs> in the Prado in Spain, I remember spending a couple days because I didn't have anything to do and I was waiting to do some shows with my band. Uh, Goya was this artist that I kind of ran across. And there's a, there's a, this painting, and it's a very simple painting. Uh, the bottom half is the ocean, and it's and it's this green, almost dirty ocean. And in the center, above, above the ocean, is just sky, endless sky. And in the middle is the dog's head that is poking out, and he's swimming. But I see no land. I see nothing. In my mind, there's a story there. He's been cast out to sea, he fell off a ship. But it's a little dog, and I remember staring at that for hours, crying because I felt like that dog. Podcasts, podcasts make me cry. Um, they just have this ability to just tell the story, tell their stories in such a personal way. There's something about only having audio and having somebody just speak straight into your ear that gives me chills, always makes me cry, multiple times. <laughs> So when Wonder Woman came out in the summer of 2017, I saw it three times. Um, and this must be how low the bar is for seeing empowered women in film. But just the moment the film starts, I started bawling. Um, I actually also bawled all the way through the most recent Star Wars film. Uh, just seeing women represented in really powerful roles. I actually left, I think, Wonder Woman the first time going, man, do men feel this every time they see a superhero movie? Like, your life must be awesome.